Hi, this is Judy and I'm Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious side dish with acorn squash, pears, berries, and walnuts. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees and while it's heating up you can wash your acorn squash and then cut it from end to end, remove the seeds, and then you want to coat the whole thing inside and out with extra virgin olive oil and then you want to place it cut side down on a baking sheet and you can oil the baking sheet or you can line it with parchment paper like I've done. When the oven is hot I'm going to roast this for 30 to 40 minutes until it's fork tender and uh, while it is roasting we're going to do some other things and I'll show you that next. Alright my acorn squash is in the oven so in the meantime I'm getting other things ready and in this bowl I have one tablespoon of lemon juice and two tablespoons of water now I've taken one pear and cut it, I've peeled it, cored it, and cut it up into bite-sized pieces and I'm just going to put it into this lemon water and stir it up and allow it to sit just to keep that lemon fresh or keep the pear fresh, keep it from turning as we're waiting and this is not a step to skip because we're going to use this lemon water in the dish. Next you want to get some berries ready and this is really berries of your choice. Fresh is always best. I don't have fresh on hand but I do have some a frozen blend of mixed berries, cherries, strawberries and such. So really you can use whatever you've got. I'm allowing these to thaw and I'm just going to cut these into small pieces and just have them ready to go and it's roughly roughly a quarter of a cup. It's really not a whole lot. This is for the sake of adding a little bit of flavor and some color to your dish. And again you can use whatever ones you like. Raspberries would give it a really nice strong flavor. I have um, strawberries, raspberry, blackberry in here and a little cherry. My squash has roasted for right at 30 minutes. It is plenty fork tender to my liking. So I'm going to leave it on the baking pan just like it is while I go to the stove. I have a small pan heating up on the stove on just a little more than medium heat. And to that I'm going to add roughly two tablespoons of butter. Let that melt a little bit. We don't even have to get it all the way melted if we don't want to take the time. Now you can see I have my pears and I'm going to just add the pears and all of that lemon water to the pan. We're going to make a little bit of a sauce by doing this. Now that's going to come back to a boil pretty quickly. Now we want to add a, just a little bit of sweetener. I have some honey here and I'm going to add just roughly one to two teaspoons of honey. Not a lot. You don't have to add it but I think it really helps to enhance the dish. You can use brown sugar, regular sugar, maple syrup, maple sugar, agave nectar, stevia, whatever turns you on as far as a sweetener, whatever you'd like. Now we're going to sprinkle in some cinnamon and again this is to taste. Now this is a generous amount of cinnamon that I'm putting in here because this is going to help to flavor the whole dish. And this is really to taste as much as you want based on the size of the squash, the size of the pear, the number of people you're feeding. Now we want this to come to a boil and let that stew for just a little bit and then just right toward the end I'm going to add a handful of walnuts that I've chopped up and this little bit of fruit that the berries and cherries that I had that I chopped up. I'm going to add those just right at the end with the walnuts. There we go. See it's coming to a boil. Now I'm going to allow these to stew for roughly two to three minutes somewhere in there and then I'm going to take them off the heat and add the fruit and the walnuts and I'll just allow that to sit while I go back to the squash. My pears have cooked right for three minutes. I've added the walnuts and the fruit to it and I'm just taking it off the stove and just going to allow that to sit for a few minutes while I take the squash out of the shell. Now you can serve this in a bowl 
or you can reserve the shells and put it all back in the shells when you're finished. It can go either way. So as soon as we're done scooping the squash out of the shells, we'll show you where we go from there. All right, you can see I have scooped all the flesh out of the shells and into a bowl. And that's all I've done so far. Now I'm going to take my pear mixture and just dump everything right on top of that squash. And then just toss it around, mix it up a little bit. You see this makes quite a bit. It would make, oh, probably up to six servings depending upon size, maybe even a little more than that. Just depends upon the size of your squash. And if you want to dress it up just a little bit more, you could sprinkle just a little bit more cinnamon on the top and you've got a nice dish ready to go. If you want to put it back in the shell, you can do that and make it a decorative piece that way. You can see how easy that is. Now you have a delicious side dish of acorn squash, pears, berries, and walnuts. It would be great with your holiday Thanksgiving meal. Give this a try. Let me know how it works for you in the comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Have a great day.